Welcome back. It's still TV3 New Day, and now we're crossing over to the Ashanti region where we'll be speaking to Evans Inkum. Today he's positioned at the Kumasi Airport, and he says he has some updates uh, on it for us. And so, good morning, Evans, and thank you for joining us. How are you? Good morning, Bella, and thanks for having me. I am doing very well in that um, the there were showers of blessing this morning. Okay. I was hovering around 24 degrees Celsius. I mean, in most parts of the um, Kumase um, metro. So um, I think people enjoy some um, raining season mm. as far as this morning is concerned. That explains the haziness of the weather. I mean, we can barely see far. But exactly. you are positioned exactly. at a different location today. Here is the Kumase airport. What's That's happening right. there? Okay, so as you can see, the place looks uh, virtually deserted, and it tells you um, what is happening here. So for the past three weeks, no domestic flight has um, been taxied down the runway. Uh, I'm talking about since the, the, the last address by the president to lock down uh, Accra and Greater Kumase. Mm. Uh, even though the, the, the partial lockdown has been lifted, but I'm told, or the authority here tells me that they're still waiting for uh, a signal. In fact, the, what they said was that they've been communicating with the uh, 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 flight operators, and they, they tell them they are waiting for a signal from the tower. So until that signal is um, given, um, I, I, no flight is operating. But I am pretty sure that um, from Monday, we are going to see the domestic flight Okay. Um, London, as far as the Kumasi airport is concerned. Okay. Um, if you go to the waiting area, I saw a couple of passengers who had come here hoping to get fly to Accra, but um, they were disappointed. Yesterday, mm. I was told three passengers uh, came here, but they were disappointed. The officials here, the workers here are ready to receive passengers and also flights, but the planes are just not coming. Mm. When you say signal from the tower, explain it to us a bit further. That's if you have any for us. What does it necessarily mean? Okay, so you know, um, when, you, when you are in the airspace, normally they communicate with the people at the tower. Um, when you, you are about to land, I mean, the threat and all mm -hmm. of that are communicated to them. So um, they need that green light for okay. them to move as far as the flight, even the, as far as the pilots are concerned. So if that particular communication hasn't been done, um, no plane will take off. So that is what they meant, that they haven't received any, any uh, signal from okay. the tower. That is why they are not operating. That is, okay. that is the information I have. Now, the president also mentioned that uh, as, as part of lifting the partial lockdown, he's admonishing um, you know, the flights and also the short, short taxi drivers to all adhere to social distancing and to stick to the protocols as well. Uh, the question that came up was, how can a flight adhere to social distancing? Have you asked them, and what are they saying about it? Well, they, they have been very economical with information and what they are going to do um, in their next line of action. But uh, imagine a, a flight like uh, African World. We know, I mean, uh, African World Airlines. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that is the... Uh, the, the, the what, one of, uh, um, that's the most moving um, uh, domestic flights, yeah. airliner or flight in, in, in as far as this country is concerned. You know their, their space. So it means half of their passengers will go if that particular system is implemented. Passion Air, I'm sure they also have the same issue. Um, half of their passengers will go. Mm. But if you ask the uh, people who operate here, they are unable to give you a yes or no answer. They can't give but you a yes or no as to whether they're going to stick to it. But have there been any job losses at the Kumasi airports, the various flights and all of that, during the partial lockdown? Did it affect any jobs at all? Nobody has confirmed a job loss. Um, in fact, I, I inquired about one of the people that I spoke to earlier before coming on Skype. And they tell me that they haven't received any formal communi I mean, communication from um, the, the, their managers as far as um, the, that particular narrative is concerned. And they are, they are not ready for that if, if, if there should be anything like that, because most of them, there's their livelihood. So okay. if, if, if they are not going to enjoy this kind of uh, opportunity, then they don't know what is going to become of mm. their life going 
airport. Now, for local flights or domestic flights, Kumasi Airport is one of the most popular destinations. Um, and I can imagine how the lockdown may have affected them, especially knowing that uh, in a day we would have a number of flights landing in Kumasi. Uh, whilst you spoke to them, did you find out how this may have affected them and what it means in the future, looking at the situation at hand? Well, it means a lot. I think they started feeling the heat um, when um, the cases were being recorded in, in, in the Ashanti region, for that matter, in greater Accra region. Um, by then, you know, the kind of people who bought, who went back on these uh, uh, flights, we're talking about the high and then the middle uh, income class people, um, a lot of them are elite, let me put it mm. that way. So they foresaw um, the threat. So mo a lot of the passengers were not coming even before a partial lockdown was imposed by mm -hmm. the president. So they started feeling the heat um, even before, like I said earlier, the partial lockdown was imposed by the president. But they are hoping that uh, the, the narrative changes. Um, and yeah. As to whether it is going to change, it's also another issue altogether. Because exactly. here we are talking about social distance and protocol and all of that. Okay. Uh, it's just a matter of time. But if, 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 if what I did do from the communication I had with, or the, the, the conversation I had with this particular person, doesn't look mm. like they, 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 they see so much hope going hmm. forward. Interesting. Uh, but, but moving away from the airport, let's talk about voluntary testing, which was announced uh, by the Ashanti Regional Director of the Ghana Health Service. He said that they had identified some risk groups uh, that included some taxi drivers and, um, you know, frontline health workers, and they were going to embark on a voluntary testing. What does that exactly mean? So it means the people will make themselves available for them to be tested. Um, I know already, I mean, some commercial drivers in the Ashanti region have expressed interest in getting mm. tested to know their status. Um, for the market women, yesterday there was a marathon meeting with the uh, Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly um, led by the mayor. Uh, we haven't heard anything from them as to whether they are going to cooperate uh, effectively as mm -hmm. far as this particular request is concerned. For the police, we know... Um, a directive has come Been from given, the IGP, yeah. Yeah. so uh, they have no option. I think I I, 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 I was particularly um, happy when I heard that mm -hmm. the police are going to go through some. One, if, just, if you if you if you should listen to that particular conversation, it, it, it's not like a voluntary, but this one is mandatory. Mandatory, and yes. I'm, 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 I'm happy for that because. Remember I told you about the experience I had when I traveled to the Western North region when mm -hmm. I saw a good number of barriers with police men manning those barriers, but none of them was uh, wearing the nose mask. Yeah. So it tells you the level of risk. So I'm pretty happy to hear that the police uh, are going to be screened or are mm -hmm. going to be tested for mm -hmm. the virus. I'm sure the same thing will also apply to the military who were at the Line, the checkpoints the as well, of, yes, definitely. Yes, wake of the but, but back to the market women, the taxi drivers. Now, you're saying that they are ready to avail themselves for testing. Do they have enough information as to where to go, what is required of them? Have they been educated on all of that? The, the ball hasn't been rolled yet. Um, we're still waiting for the Ghana Health Service to set out the modalities as far as this particular um, uh, move is concerned. Okay. Uh, but I just want to believe that education has hit the ground for them to know what it, it entails, especially now that we are also battling with stigma and all of that. Um, I'm sure they're going to uh, intensify education before this whole thing is rolled out better. Now, looking at um, the way people are going about their duties, of course, we realize that social distancing uh, seems to be a thing of the past, if I could say, because people are not really adhering to it. Does it mean that they've forgotten what really is the situation on the ground? Are people wearing their nose mask? Are they adhering to social distancing? Or have they thrown believe, caution to the wind? Believe you me, some are, some are inadvertently thrown caution to the wind because they're oblivious of whatever is happening. 
as far as the status of greater equivalency is concerned. Um, you, you remember yesterday I said I tend to agree with Dr. Agustina um, Silverkin. Silverkin, yeah. To mount uh, billboards that will display the status of the Ashanti region of Greater Kumar so that people have a better understanding of what is happening and how well they can also protect themselves mm -hmm. by following safety I mean, measures or the, the WHO protocols. But again, you also ask yourself, do they have the means to um, purchase the nose mask? Mm -hmm. That is one of the barriers that is why um, the, the Regional Security Council um, is unable to roll out Operation Wear Your Mask. Yeah. Because if they have to do that, they should have a concrete, I um, mean, one would say, reason why they are doing that. And um, it, it should be embedded in, uh, in, 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 in a manner that uh, somebody will not stand up and say, but have you provided me a mask yeah. for you to ask? I don't even have the means to buy them. So how do you force me to wear something that I cannot even afford? Mm -hmm. But we are hearing that, you know, per the present directive, um, there's going to be a distribution of the face mask. Yet again, we don't know how this whole thing is going to be distributed. Uh, but yet, uh, I think a lot of people were also happy when they, when they heard the chairman of the uh, uh, Council of State um, uh, yeah. But when they heard him also suggest to the president that uh, we need to target, instead of distributing foods to the vulnerable, why don't we give them the nose mask? Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, well, we're just hoping that that particular, um, the president takes that advice from the uh, chairman of the Council of State going okay. forward. Now, now, talking about education in the Ashanti region, I know that the predominant language is tree. Okay, I mean, the president has been speaking in English. We've had press briefings in English and in tree as well. We know that the National Bureau of Languages is supposed to translate the education or the addresses into the various local languages as well. Looking at the situation in the Ashanti region, have there been any efforts by government to at least sensitize people uh, really with a local language or has most of the conversation been in English and how are people taking that? Well, most of the conversation, okay, well, for, if you're talking about the Ashanti region, you know, the media landscape, most yeah. of them met in the local dialect. Mm. So for Akuma FM, we are uh, doing a lot of education and sensitization. We, we have stopped every political program and we have dedicated okay. um, the entire month for um, the COVID-19 education. I can also speak for other radio stations, few radio stations that I've monitored in the Ashanti region who are also doing the same, even though others are still Are they doing, doing, doing that in the same. local language? Or? They, are doing that in, they, are, they are doing that in the local language. So by and large, education has language. gone far in the Ashanti region. The media even... is ahead in that. Yeah, the media okay. is ahead in that. Um, well, I haven't chanced upon the, um, any government vehicle um, educating the public, well, I stand for correction, though, but personally, I haven't chance. The local assemblies the don't have yes, any vehicles. Yes. The oh, NCC yes. said oh, they, was, they had teamed up with, you know, the local assemblies, at least to oh. educate people. You don't see that happening? I have been, I have been moving around with the Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly for some time now. They are doing that. Okay. I, I cannot say I cannot say same for the other um, um, districts or administrative districts as far as the Ashanti region is concerned. But for the Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly, every day, they are in the market engaging the, uh, the traders mm. uh, to also understand what is happening and then how best they can also protect themselves against the COVID. Now, the, the markets that were closed, I mean, the, is it John Mensa or Kofi Mensa? Pardon me. Um, <laughs> the, there's Mensa. some Mr. Mensa markets that <laughs> had to be closed at a point because they still were not adhering to it. What's the update on that now? Well, so Dr. Mensa market is opened. Okay. Uh, only that they have enforced strict measures to uh, social distancing. Um, so when you go to Dr. Mensa market today, you will not see a choked market, but you see some level of despair. As far okay. as Do they have demarcations uh, to indicate uh, who sits where and all of that? You know, that market, I mean, the, the population in that particular market, that particular market is not that large, so okay. they're able to do that. Uh, for central markets, the reason why they met 
were the mayor yesterday mm -hmm. because they are now going to set out modalities. Uh, remember I told you that um, they will have to expand the rotational plan to be able to contain the numbers. You're talking about over 5,000 uh, yeah. traders opening in the Kumasi Central Market. Earlier, because we had um, the limited number of um, traders, um, especially those, who, um, the, 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 the focus was on those who were selling essential commodities like food stuff. Now we have other businesses uh, I mean, coming up. So now you can see the cluster is as effective as okay. I mean, during the normal days. So they will have to expand the rotational plan in order to contain all the uh, people who trade in the Kumasi okay. Central Market. That is uh, what is being done now. And um, we, we are hoping that from Monday, we are going to see another decongested Kumasi Central Market. And I also told you that it's not only going to affect the, uh, the traders alone, mm -hmm. but we also expect say uh, among the various transport or commercial um, transport unions. So um, from Monday, we're also going to see a limited number of um, commercial vehicles access the central business district. I am okay. hearing at most five mm. vehicles from each union. Oh, um, so see. that was mean that we're not going to see a congested um, CBD as far as Kumasi is okay. concerned. Okay. And finally, there haven't been any change in the number of cases in the Ashanti region. It still stands at 68? Yes. We okay. haven't been given any briefing so far or any updates so far. All right, no worries. Thank you so much, Evan Zinkum, for speaking to us. And yes, uh, he was just, of course, giving us some information on what's happening at the Kumasi Airport and uh, the various uh, institutions as well. And so I hope that you caught those updates.